Hey, Dan, uh, this is Clark. Thought I'd have a, grab a couple minutes here to just show you some of the stuff I was talking about um, that I've been using in NeoVim uh, that I'm not sure that you're using or or you know about. Um, one of them in particular was lazy Git. So I was just going to um, show you that by just playing around here. I have a, this is my NVim directory. So I'm just going to uh, edit my readme, which is just a spot that I keep notes in. Uh, you can see I'm using Ghosty again as a terminal for now. I don't know. They just released an update. So I'm trying it out to see if it's any better. Um, and I'm also going to turn show keys toggle so you can see the keys I'm hitting if that matters. So um, basically the lazy git gives you this uh, git interface uh, when you're in here. So I'm going to just, you know, this is a file that's in a git track repo. I can add some text to it. I can, oh, a copilot suggesting some stuff. I'm just going to complete that. Okay, so it's, it can't wait to learn <laughs> about what else is in the Lazy Vim book. Uh, that's cool. Um, I can save this, and if I do space GG, this dumps me into the Lazy Git interface. All right, so you can get around these different windows by hitting Tab, and within the windows, you can use you know J and K to move around. And this is kind of like a, a TIG view, if you know what I mean by the command line thing. You can look at the commits and see. Uh, the difference in the other window, you can see what's in your stash. Uh, this is just lazy Git information. But this window, number two, is where it starts you by default, where you can see a list of the files that you've made changes to. So, for example, you can see that that readme file uh, has been modified because it's got a red M next to it. Okay, And if I had modified more files, they would show up here, too. Um, you can hit the space bar, which is the equivalent to doing a git add. You can see in the command log, uh, if you can see my mouse down at the bottom, that's basically what it did, is it added the readme.md, um, staged it effectively. Um, and then if I hit C, it pops up the window to do a, a git commit. So I can say, um, this is my git commit. And if I hit tab, it takes me down to this commit description box, which you know gives you the sort of um, extra paragraph where you describe your commit, right? I can describe my commit more here. Hit tab takes you back up. Uh, and if you're done, then you just hit enter. It makes that commit. Now, there's some other shortcuts in here. If you do a lowercase p, it will pull. You saw it was kind of doing something, says it's up to date. You do an uppercase P, it will now push that. So I actually kind of didn't mean to do that because this was a trivial change, but I just pushed it off to my uh, GitHub, my NVIM GitHub repo. Um, that's all I wanted to show you, except for um, one additional plugin um, that I'm using that I, I actually like, um, which I can get to by doing eLua plugins. Uh, it's this thing called lazy git confirm. So there's a bit of code here. You can find this in my repo if you want to see what I'm doing. Uh, what this does is it puts a little interface before you open lazy git to check if you have any unsaved buffers. So I can show you this. Let's just um, add a space at the end of that. Oh, I just saved it. Uh, let's undo that. <laughs> undo. Uh, add a space. Yeah, I've got to not be careful. My fingers want to save it right away, but I don't want to do that. So if I now open lazy git, it pops this little thing. It says, hey, you've got unsaved buffers, right? So these won't get included in Git if I make a commit right now because I haven't actually saved them. So I can just you know, say, well, I don't want to run lazy Git. I can ask for a list of all the buffers that are unsaved, or this is what I use. I can save all and continue. So there, I just saved it. That's going to dump me into lazy Git um, where I can uh, make a commit based on that. And in fact, the save, I didn't actually make any changes. It just had an unsaved buffer. So, uh, but I recommend that. It's, I think it's quite handy uh, to use. Anyway, that's all I have, what I wanted to show you today. So hope you enjoyed that and uh, happy Sunday.